Hello everybody, today I'm going to present you how to make a proper charger for your 12 volt battery. So let's get started. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> in the previous video I show you how to calculate the amps of your charger to be able to charge this 12 volt uh, battery. In order for measuring and uh, sizing the proper charger to your 12 volts battery, we have to have in mind some, some parameters. First one is if you're gonna have a charger that's gonna provide 14 volts and 0. Point, let's say 15, 150 amps, is gonna be a universal charger for your battery, but it's gonna take longer hours for you to charge this battery. Further on, if you don't have a proper charger that's gonna provide 14 volts and you're gonna have something less, let's start with 5 volts. Let's say you have a power supply that's gonna provide 5 volts and 10 to 15 amps or even less. If you are in this scenario, you're gonna be able to, to manage to find or buy from online some kind of a boost converter. And there are small devices that they're gonna step up the voltage from any voltage into a higher one. So from 12, from 5, they're gonna step up to 12 or 18 or 24. That's called a boost DC boost. You can find them online, they are very cheap, between one and five dollars as well. If you're gonna want to have a adjustable amps charging, you're gonna have to find for the similar one, DC boost and variable. These are more expensive stuff, but they can vary the voltage and the amps as well for you to be able to charge the thing. So this is case one. If you have a power supply, a transformer, a switch mode power supply, a laptop charger, something that's gonna provide less than 12 volts, with the help of these DC boosters, you're gonna be able to step up the voltage to reach this 14 volts threshold and the amps is gonna be debateful according to how big is going to be the difference between the starting voltage and the finishing voltage. All right, let's proceed further on. <clears throat> further on, if your power supply is going to provide more than uh, 12 volts, let's say you have a power supply that's going to provide 20 volts. Yeah, this is your power supply. So you cannot connect them straight away, not even the bigger power supply or the smaller power supply. You cannot connect them straight away to the 12 volts because it's not gonna have, it's, nothing is gonna happen. With this one, it's not gonna happen. You may be able to destroy the power supply. And with this one, you're gonna be able to damage the battery as well. But in this case, if your power supply is bigger than 14 volts, you're gonna need a buck DC buck converter converter which this one is gonna make is gonna lower the voltage from 20 volts is gonna make it small like 12 volts or 5 volts whatever you're gonna need for your battery as well in this process and as well as the first one if you're gonna need for one that uh, is gonna be able to adjust the amps, the charging rate, which there is a video over there, if you want to watch it, the last one, how to calculate these amps. You're gonna have to find for a DC boost variable. That one is gonna vary the amps according to the voltage that you're gonna down, you're gonna, you're gonna slow down the voltage, you know, from this higher end to this immediate intermediate voltage that you're gonna need for your battery. All right, so all this stuff, all these appliances are inexpensive, couple of bucks, and you're gonna be able to do your conversion from up and down. As a tip, 
As a tip, when you're gonna um, provide or you're gonna develop your power supply, you should aim for the bigger power supply. That's gonna have the biggest potential difference between the source and the receiver, yeah? If you're gonna choose this kind of method to step them up, which this is a very common method in the power banks, but they're not stepping up too much, because in the process of stepping down the voltage, you're gonna sacrifice some amps as well. In the process of stepping down the voltage, you ain't gonna be, you will be able to receive all the amperage, but it's gonna be some heated transfer in the process for stepping down or slowing down the voltage going into this battery. I hope that was useful for you. Till the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe, see the other video, share it, and see you on the next one.